Hey, hey everybody, hey, it's Comic Country 1014 coming at you with yet another haul video. Uh, this is going to be uh, from this week's uh, shift at 2NC, at least from Tuesday night uh, shift there. Yeah, the summer hours kicked in, and oh my god, just kicked my ass, man. Getting home like 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Anyways, enough about that. <laughs> I don't want to complain too much because the benefit is I get to find some pretty decent books. Um, so tonight I have uh, it's a small little stack. Has a mixture of some uh, some DC books, Marvel books, and a couple of indie books in here. But the DC books that I found, oh my gosh, man. Whew, really happy about those. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin the haul. <clears throat> so uh, this is going to be Blackest Night number seven. I believe this is the first, uh, is the first uh, White Lantern ring. Uh, and then I hear some people say it's, it has a tie-in to Naomi, but I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what people say. I don't know. But this would be my second copy. I believe this is a newsstand edition, if I'm not mistaken. Um... So yeah, it's a pretty good condition. Probably fine minus condition. So that's that. Oh yeah, then we have Batman six twenty nine. I believe this is the uh, where this uh, Jason Todd uh, you know becomes a Red Hood. Uh, yeah, they had an animated uh, DC animated uh, cartoon of that. That was it was pretty badass. I I love the uh, the animation of that and uh, yeah. Well, anyways, this is a uh, this I think where it all begins right here. I believe it does. I could be mistaken, but uh, this is a uh, six twenty nine. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I had this one in my in my old PC, but yeah, I really happy to find these are all fifty cents as well too. And then we have uh, six thirty four. Uh, yeah, man, this is that's a nice cover. It looks almost like I want to say it's Alex Ross, but I don't think it's Alex Ross. I don't know who that is. I think it's Dustin Gwynn. I think I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a nice. Uh, it's probably like fine plus, maybe maybe very fine minus. Um, yeah, so that's a cool cover as well too. Uh, and then the next one, oh my god, man, the next one, like I said, I had been looking on eBay not too long ago, actually, probably about a, about a little over two or three weeks ago, looking on eBay for, you know, a decent price uh, copy of this book, and I just couldn't find anything other than, I think it, uh, the lowest, I think I found it, I saw it on eBay go for was 30 bucks, I guess, or maybe 25, 30 bucks, um, but uh, yeah, to find it for 50 cents, <laughs> oh my gosh, I was pretty happy about that. Hell yeah, man! Batman six thirty five. Oh my god! When I saw that sitting in the tub, I was like, "Are you shitting me? No flipping away, man!" Like I said, some of these people that that price. I mean, uh, I don't. Yeah, man, I don't know what they're thinking. But like I said, some of these books they over way overprice them, and some of these books they just missed the mark. Which I don't care, you know, because if I can get them for a good deal like this, it's not my problem. <laughs> I mean, it's my benefit. So. Uh, but yeah, when I saw this tub, this 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 book in the in the tub, I was like, hell yeah, man! So I had, I think I had a, a a graded copy. I think it was a PGX copy. I think it was a was it a nine, maybe a eight five or a nine zero. Oh, I think it was. But yeah, I I and I had and like I sold I sold it all off, sold it all off my old PC. But uh, to find a raw copy for fifty cents and it's in pretty good condition. I'm not saying it's in perfect condition. I'd say probably fine to fine plus condition. Um, so yeah, I was really happy to find this one, man. Heck yeah! <clears throat> and then uh, we got Batman six thirty eight. Oh yeah, man. I haven't had. I didn't have this one in my old collection either. But I think it's where he finds out Jason Todd's the Red Hood. <laughs> no, not no, no. It can't be not you. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> hell yeah. This one's in really good condition. I want to say very fine to very fine minus condition. And then the next book that I found, oh my gosh, this is my second copy of this book. Oh my gosh, I said, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that these were all 50 cents. I was like so happy when I was like going through, I was like, oh yeah, like a little kid in a candy store. <laughs> next one is, booyah, Batman Detective Comics 850. The first, I guess, so-called, air quotes, so-called um, first appearance of Gotham City Sirens. I don't know if that's been confirmed or not. I don't know, but I know it's, uh, you know. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I think it's still, it, it was hot for a while there. Um, I think it's cooled off quite a bit. I think you can still get these for maybe between 10 and 15 bucks on eBay, I guess. It's a pretty good copy. It's not as white as I like it to be. Um, but, uh, you know, it, the spines are, eh, they're not as sharp as I like to be. Maybe fine, maybe fine plus condition. But, uh, yeah, so happy. This is my second, make my second copy of this one as well, too. So, And then, oh, yeah. DC Universe Rebirth, uh, Batman 21, the lenticular cover by Jason Faubach. Yeah, I like this cover too. 50 cents, man. Are you serious, man? 50 flipping cents. I was like, hell yeah, man. Shoot. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it go, 
you know, it kind of turns into, well, Flash. If you guys see, there you go. See the pose right there. I, I love his artwork anyways. He's, a, he's, he's an amazing artist as well, too. But to get her 50 cents, heck yeah. Then we got Detective Comics 682. I believe this is a, yeah, it's a, yeah the Batman, yeah, the whole cover is like embossed. Well, the Batman is anyways. Yeah, it's a pretty cool cover. And then we go into our Marvel Marvel books here. Uh, this is Avengers Free Comic Book Day, the Avengers, plus Savage Avengers, plus the Savage Avengers number one. Jason Aaron and Stefano Caselli. Yeah, it's pretty nice artwork, and I got it for free. It was laying on the counter, I saw it, picked it up, so I said, hey, it's a free comic book, so they let me have it for free, so hey. And then we have Ultimate Fantastic 423, I think this is a part, yeah, part three of the, uh, I think it's the Marvel Zombies, I think. I mean, I know it is, I know, I, yeah, it's part three of the Marvel Zombies. I think I picked up Ultimate Fantastic Four number 21 uh, about two or three videos ago. So, hey, yeah, to find this one, heck yeah. This is a good condition too. Probably, well, not as good. I can see the spine kind of beat up a little bit. Maybe fine in my initial condition, but 50 cents. Ah, uh, yes. Then we have True Believers Conan the Barbarian. I probably won't be able to get this number one. Well, not in the condition I wanted in, but I, I mean, I think they're going for like 100, 150 bucks, I guess. Or even more for, you know, I think that's probably a, maybe a VG copy condition, I guess. But to have the True Believers number one, eh, it's all good for 50 cents. I wasn't going to leave that there. Then we have Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number two. It's the Jim Lee. Uh, I think this was the. Uh, I think it was when he had his card series that he did. It's probably been back in '92 or maybe '80s. I think it was. He did a, uh, a Marvel's uh, card series, and he has several of his cards that were made into covers. He has. A, I think I have one, the Sabretooth one. Has this one. I think there's a Magneto one. I don't know what other <clears throat> what other uh, what other cards were turned into covers, but that's yeah, a pretty nice cover. A Psylocke right there. Well, for 50 cents, I keep on saying 50 cents. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this one here is X-Men X -Men Origins number one, uh, Gambit. That's a nice cover. I think this is by, oh, who is that? Andy Cooper? I don't know who that is. is that Andy Cooper or Adam Cooper? I don't know. I don't know if I'm scared. It might be a Cooper. I can't remember, but anyways, yeah, I know this book was hot for a while there when that news broke, um, I don't know, how, uh, probably a few years ago that, uh, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, Ch oh my Channing Tatum <laughs> or Tatum Channing I don't know man I don't know who it is, but I can't remember his name I always fluff it up all the time but I like the pink, pink background you know and the, it's a it's a nice uh, dynamic cover you know him like flicking his cards out there just like coming at you um, like I said I think I had, I had this one in my old uh, my old PC when it was worth I think it was going for 25 bucks now it's probably not one worth maybe 5 or maybe 5 or 10 bucks at, at the most maybe but it's still a good copy to have and it's in good condition too, probably very fine, maybe fine condition. And then we're running down to the last two books here. We got Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons number two, cover B by Oni Press. Yeah, I've always wanted this cover right here and to get it for 50 cents. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't going to. I love Rick and Morty, anyways. I think I told you guys, it's just a, <laughs> it's such a crazy, wacky show, man. And it's so funny too. Oh my gosh. But uh, now I got number one, and I got number 11 and that uh, that's a variant cover as well too <laughs> i mean the 150 so oh, this was a, oh this is the only one that was a dollar 25 but uh yeah so I, okay so with dollar 25 now but it's all good though uh, 88 cents my price um yeah so i this is uh my whole video this is uh i think it's i'm gonna be probably part two of you know two i guess um because like the previous one was part one i guess we'll call it part two um like i said it was a small stack but i found some pretty good books i thought I hope you guys and gals enjoy the video. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. Uh, over here, it's kind of kind of muggy. I'm not muggy. It's, uh, it's dark and cloudy over here right now, and it's been kind of raining off and on today. So I don't know how long the rain's gonna stay. I think it may stay over the weekend, but you know, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good, man. So, anyways, this is Comic Hunter uh, saying cheers, everybody. Peace.